it was bizarre how they played at times against Denver, and you thought the thing was over when they won the first two games on the road. Always follow the money. Follow the money. That's what I always say. You always follow yeah, the money. Yeah. This is Follow the Money with Mitch Moss and Polly Howard on v Dallas, Minnesota, the last time they played, no Luka, no Kyrie, and then three of the other meetings, it was before the deadline. Dallas wasn't even, they weren't even the maps. They hadn't made any other big moves at the deadline yet, too. So, Well, what do you make of the Wolves taking money? I saw them open up about mm-hmm. a buck fifty on the series price. They're at uh, DK now a dollar seventy. They're higher than that in other areas. I got the Mavs at thirty-two to one to win the title in early April. That's when you talked me into. I grabbed them. I didn't grab them for the title. I grabbed them as another team to win the West. Uh-huh. No, I, I was so I was set up so well with my other teams, and I just. But it's my worst result. Right. Well, when do you see that, though? I mean, this never happens in the NBA. No, it doesn't. I mean, we got a, we no. have a three seed. I know Minnesota was in the running for the one in the final week of the season, but you got a three seed, a five seed, and a six seed. But with, when you maybe this is the new NBA. When you have all these injuries, and it's a war of attrition now, mm-hmm. and what's happened, maybe now going back to the, the, always the knock was, I can tell you before the season starts, only the small list of teams that can win the title. Well, now look what happened. Uh, sure. And how everything opens up. And it started with Milwaukee, and Indiana got the gift right off the bat. So that's I don't, it's a tough series. I don't know. Because I, I you, you keep saying, I don't want to hear that Luka's hurt because he has a triple-double every time. They talk <laughs> yeah. about the injuries. I know. So uh, for them to play like that and beat OKC in six, you don't get a lot from Kyrie. And Washington did nothing in game six. It's the defense and Gafford and, and Lively. Shame on you, Presty. Uh, but it's it, it's a great Dallas team that's uh, done an excellent job defensively, and they changed everything and made a lot of moves at the deadline. And I, I can't say that I agree with the Minnesota move because yeah. it's also they're hard to to pinpoint and get a read on, right? Yeah, just yeah. look at what look what we just watched. As good as they were against Phoenix, it was uh, it was bizarre how they played at times against Denver, and you thought the thing was over when they won the first two games on the road. How about Dallas plus a game and a half minus one fifty? Give me another one. Mm-hmm. Dallas plus two and a half, minus 285. I brought this up during the Clippers series. Yeah, I'm like, there's yeah. no way they're losing uh, four to one against the Clippers. It was minus 450. Yeah. We don't like talking about those bigger prices on here, but are the, are the Wolves really going to win this in a sweep or a five game series? What would you do from, uh, well, you got the, this defense is so good with Minnesota, but uh, part of OKC's game plan was leave Washington open, uh, let him shoot that many not, times, and that means it's not Kyrie going right. off, Washington which worked and, out. And Jones, by the way. I don't hate the game plan. They right. basically right. said, we're not going to let, we're going to try to neutralize Luka, Kyrie's not going to do much, and it's going to have to be P.J. Washington and Derek Jones Jr. from out here at UNLV to beat us, and they did. Right, right. That And, so, also, yeah, and also, they couldn't get a rebound when it counted. Yeah. They had problems get blowing a big lead. They couldn't get stops, and no one else helped out SGA. I'm glad what you said. that. That's what it was. So. We'll, we'll have more on this later on in the show. Shame on Sam Presti. Now, I haven't noticed this because he is a beloved GM across the country. Has anybody gone scorched earth on him yet nationally? This dude deserves to be, his feet have to be, he has to get crushed. It was, and I said it on the air the day after the trade deadline, I don't even like my OKC futures anymore. Horrible job. You could have won. You could have. Well, I don't want to say we could have won the title. Maybe you could have. You absolutely could have won the West this year, and you traded for Gordon Hayward. Who That's did disgusting. Yeah, yes, did of nothing. Because he's done. He's shot. Yeah, and then he complains about he how he was used. Yeah, good job from the coach of the yeah. year. Uh, right. So that's. Then you draft lively, and then you trade him to Dallas, and that's a big oh. reason why you lose. I hated his whole his whole attitude. When he was asked about stuff like that, he's let us remember the quote. Oh, of let course. us let us enjoy our breakfast. Yeah, he said. You got a hundred picks you're the, coming up. Yes, you're the one seed. Go for it. Shea, you might not be in this situation. Shea's one of the top two or three players mm-hmm. in the entire NBA. 